Are these the best woodworking saw horses? I have these saw horses that I built out of hardwood. This is a uh, red oak for the legs, poplar up here on the top, and then I've got maple, and then of course some black walnut. These were built from a set of plans from the Samurai Carpenter website. They were free. I did them as a skill building exercise before I built this, uh, what I consider to be beautiful workbench. But now after doing my own pop-up workbench and my own set of saw horses of a different design, I was thinking I would and, and mine are, are, I've done out of plywood. I was thinking I would rebuild according to my plans using hardwood. And then I thought, you know, that's kind of crazy. I've already got this set of beautiful sturdy sawhorses made out of hardwood. Why go to uh, several hundred dollars of expense, time and effort to uh, rebuild them from scratch when I can rebuild them or rehab them and essentially achieve the great majority of what I want to achieve. What is it that I want to achieve? There's a little profile here sticking out, and it, this, these are kind of aesthetic design things. Uh, that profile, so this is not flat with the edge of the legs. There was a design here at an angle for looks only, and that kind of compromises the ability to clamp over here and clamp on the other end. So what I want to do somehow is get the top here wider and level with the outside of the legs so that I can then put some dovetail grooves in the legs and in the top. And then I can attach panels to this uh, or I can put things on here and do planing. So I want the same capabilities that I have in my other sawhorses. But anyway, this is where I started. So then let me show you the things that I did to get from here to the end. It's working too hard because I plunged it all the way down, so I should have run it in two runs. Smelling black walnut like crazy, so I should learn to put on my dust mask. And uh, that was a screaming, so I should put on a hearing. But other than that, I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> I could have used a regular clamp underneath because the beauty of sawhorses or saw stallions as compared to trying to do this on the workbench is these saw stallions are flexible. I can move them apart, move them together. So, so I could get where I could put a regular clamp here, but I can use the dovetail too. Now, what about down here? If I wanted to move the whole thing down, I guess it'd be all right. But sometimes you want a clamp and there's a leg right in your way. And so I couldn't put a clamp there anywhere to hold this piece. So it was very convenient to have this alternative available to me. All right, so we're going to cut this uh, dovetail groove. This board still isn't held by anything, so it could move on me, even though it can't move left or right. It could move this way, and I want to secure it. So a little blue tape all the, wrapped all the way around it and all the way around the base should be enough to uh, hold it. Um.
Well, we're finished. So as a recap, we took the tops of the legs on both sides of both of the sawhorses and we cut them off to get rid of the round over. Then we figured out the size of a black walnut facing here and uh, thinned it down on the thickness planer so that it would be attached against the old top but yet be flush with the legs. So that's primarily what I wanted to achieve there. Then I've got dovetail grooves everywhere in the legs, in the top, on the side of the top, on the top of the top, everywhere. So I have a lot of clamping flexibility now. I also already had the dog holes in the top so that I can use things like the Veritas platforms. And uh, so I'm really happy. I was going to redo these from scratch with hardwood, but now I've got a pair of hardwood uh, match fit dovetail clamp super saw stallions. And I'm looking forward to using them. Small workshop guy, hoping you're safe, safe in your workshop. Don't be cutting any fingers and heading to the emergency room now. Wrong time, wrong place with this coronavirus to be doing that. So stay healthy and uh, enjoy your workshop and your time off.